Osobuco. Osobuco is a very traditional northern Italian dish. Um, translated, uh, Osobuco means bone and whole. Oso is bone and whole is buco. Now here it is. It's a beautiful cut. Uh, it is from the, the lower leg, so it's, it's, it's very muscly and sinewy. So just like a lamb shank, it needs to be cooked for the same amount of time. Um, look, a good two hours. Um, you can cook it either in the oven or on the stove top. I like to cook it on the stove top uh, in a nice heavy pot. Now, we'll go through all that. Uh, first, I'd like to go through all the ingredients we'll need. Uh, we'll be serving this with a risotto, a risotto milanese, which again, northern part of Italy. Um, it's, it's essentially like a plain um, saffron risotto. Uh, if, if you guys have seen this dish around the restaurants and cafes and pubs, it, uh, can, be, it, it can come with uh, mash um, or polenta as well, which is another northern Italian dish. Okay, we'll go through the ingredients. Now, we'll need some uh, beef stock, um, some tomato paste, a can of chopped tomatoes, the herbs, uh, rosemary, thyme, um, some oregano, a couple of bay leaves. Now, with the risotto, we'll, we'll need an onion. Uh, we'll need an onion, again, for the, for the cooking of the um, sauce for the osobuco as well. Uh, and then the other two veggies, a carrot and a celery. Uh, we'll need celery as well for the risotto. Uh, we'll need some butter. Now, also we'll need some flour to dust the um, osobuco before we, we seal it. Uh, then we, we'll top off the um, osobuco with it's called the gremolata which is like a dressing like a you, you drizzle it on top so it's it consists of flat leaf parsley continental parsley lemon rind and some garlic salt and pepper olive oil um, we'll also need some white wine for the cooking of both the osobuco and the risotto okay so that's all the ingredients we'll Chopped up the veggies for the osobuco, nice and coarse. Osobuco, we'll dust it with the flour now. We'll just add some salt and pepper to the flour. Meet you over at the stove and we will seal the osobuco off. Three tablespoons, three to four tablespoons. Now we'll be cooking, we'll be sealing this off for probably five minutes each side. All right. Let's have a look. Beautiful. Okay, so we remove these from the pot, put them aside on a plate. Beautiful. These will need five to ten minutes. Oh, 
Finally. A little bit of oregano, some thyme, a little bit of rosemary, Some garlic, I can put the heat up now. Put in a couple of tablespoons of tomato paste. Put in half a glass of wine wine. Half a litre of beef stock. Chopped tomatoes, it's brought to the simmer, you can return your ossobuco to the pot. Put on the lid and we will see you in two hours. Put in some olive oil, two or three tablespoons. Now I'm only making enough for two people. So when you look at the quantities, just double or triple as required. So I'm just using one cup of rice for this amount, half an onion and half a celery stick. And there's the onion. Celery, just on a low to medium heat. Okay, it's been about three or four minutes, starting to get some colour. One cup. Put the head up a little bit. Coat. Make sure it's coated with the oil. We just want the starch to release. Give it another three three to four minutes at this point. 
Then we can add the wine and start adding the stock. So, again, technically, the 20 minutes of cooking of this rice starts from about now. We can add the wine. A good half a glass. Start adding the beef stock. Now I'll put a pinch of saffron in this stock for the colour and flavour. Nice and yellow. Reduce the heat and continue to add the stock until the rice is tender. That beautiful colour. Beautiful. Turn off the heat. Two tablespoons of grated cheese, pecorino or parmesan. Stir it through. Ready to serve. How beautiful and green is that? Okay, we are ready to plate up. She's falling off the bone. Remove the bay leaf. Bon appetit.